Now, a volunteer hub has been set up by West Sussex County Council to match people who want to help their local community and those who are in need. Now, let's talk to MP Gillian Keegan, who joins us now to tell us more. Gillian, thank you so much for joining us on the programme. And what we've found here, actually, there are an enormous amount of people that really want to help. And I'm sure that's what that's what this is all about, isn't it? Bringing people together with those that are vulnerable. Hi, Sarah. Uh, yes, it certainly is. I mean, it is astonishing what's going on uh, across West Sussex. The amount of people who have registered to be volunteers, the amount of local community groups that have set up outside of that. Um, I mean, all across the district, really, from Milan to Midhurst, from Selsey to Selham, you've got people coming together in their community groups and doing everything from, you know, delivering, um, you know, delivering food to giving people a call who are lonely, uh, giving away eggs if they've got surplus eggs, takeaway deliveries from all kinds of pubs. There's traffic light systems in, in villages where people are putting up a red if they need help, a, a green if, if, if not. So it's just amazing, really, and lots and lots of activity. Of course, the, the joy of this particular scheme is that you are able to, to match up appropriate people. So um, if someone's got caring skills, for example, they can, they can talk about that. You're, you're very much sort of looking specifically about what people can offer and what people need. Yep, so it's, uh, as you say, the, the type of skills they have. Uh, if we need additional carers, um, then, then, then we'll know where they are. Uh, if they can drive, we'll know where they are. If they've been security collected, if they've done all the DBS checks and can work with vulnerable people, we'll know where they are. Um, so it really is um, just getting a, a picture, really, of all the people who've offered to help and what kind of skills they have um, so that we can use them as and when we need them. This is a lot of collating and a lot of work to do to, to bring this all together. I, I assume there's a team of people working on this. Yeah, and it's also the District Council, Chichester District Council as well, are supporting uh, West Sussex County Council, the, the Citizens Advice Bureau as well. I spoke to uh, the chap, Luca, who runs that. Uh, so he's also uh, going to be there and, and helping as well. So it'll be a load of community groups that will be coming together as well to support West Sussex. And in addition to registering volunteers, they're also uh, making sure that those that are vulnerable, um, who have to stay at home, who've been sent a letter by their GP, if they haven't been picked up by a community group or, or they haven't got friends and family helping them, that we know exactly where they are so we can put the right support package in place for those people. I don't suspect there'll be that many of them based on all the community activity that's going on, but there could be some isolated people that we just don't know about. So that's, uh, that's also what this, this hub will do. Actually, Gillian, it is really easy for, for people to slip through the net. Was we, we took a call from a lovely lady uh, earlier this week who was, um, felt really, really isolated. She said, I feel I've been abandoned. She was older. She didn't have access to a computer. And uh, just, you know, re but there were people that were prepared to help. A lot of people reached out to help her. And I suppose that's what all this is about. If you feel abandoned, if you feel like there's no one there to help, there will be. Uh, you just need putting in touch with them. Yes, and go on to the hub. If, you're, if you had a letter from the GP, you're getting no help and support from anybody else, then go on to uh, West Sussex County Council hub, make sure they're aware of you, and then everything can be set up from delivering um, your, your, your food, a, a daily phone call if you're, if you're lonely, um, you know, even, even um, you know, from the churches as well, if, if that's helpful. So there's a, a lot of people who will spring into action who are just waiting to do something. I mean, my husband's put his name on the list. He hasn't done anything yet but he's um, you know he's here waiting uh, for, for, for when he's needed and you know what we know about coronavirus is it's going to go on for a period of time it's going to get worse before it gets better we're expecting it to peak in the next uh, two weeks here in West Sussex and across the country so there will be um, much needed support so it may not be that you're being called today but you will absolutely be all hands to the pump I would imagine in a couple of weeks time. What's it like being an MP? during all of this you know it, it's it's it, it's a strange time isn't it to to be um part of part of the government and, and not not be able to meet people face to face 
Well, it is. Um, so, well, the first thing is it, it's a huge privilege to be sort of known as a member of the community. So people, more and more people have got in touch, whether they're businesses and they're concerned about how to preserve their business during these worrying times, whether they're the, the food producers and the, and the growers in West Sussex who uh, are anticipating will need help with picking, um, whether it's the, the CEO of the local hospital, making sure that the ventilators that we've got on order are coming. You kind of can help with anything. You can either try and help push things within government or you can, uh, you know, point, point people to the right place. Um, and we've also set up on our own website a, a page which has basically got everything that we know that's going on in the community, plus local government advice uh, and, and central government advice as well. So it's a real privilege to be able to, to do that. But yes, in terms of surgeries, I mean, I'm still doing surgeries, but they're all faced, uh, they're all um, on the phone instead of face to face. Um, so, you know, they're just a different kind of surgery. Um, and, you know, what I'm not able to do, I mean, my Fridays when I was back in the constituency would normally start with a school. All the schools obviously are closed down and, you know, obviously everybody's got access across West Sussex to online learning. But uh, it's, uh, that's part of my day that I really miss because I love going into the schools. Um, so I look forward to when that returns. But yeah. I'm also now a minister, so I've got the sort of DFE role as well, um, which keeps me busy because instead of the red box coming with pieces of paper in there's now a digital box which is basically never ending there's no sort of lid closing on the digital box. your work so, uh, is never done <laughs> well lovely done, no. lovely to have you on the program thank you so much indeed for joining us we have the, all the details if you want to know more about that um community uh link up group there that gillian was talking about so do get in touch bbc with radio sussex